Welcome to Jason Doesn't Know What He's Doing. Um, today, I'm welding something I've never welded before. We're going to see what happens. So, I got a, uh, a stoplight from a friend from church, and he asked me to make a stand for it, so I'm doing that. And I'm like, oh, it's probably like steel or aluminum and something, like, we'll be fine. But I go ahead and... It is a funky rose gold color, and I'm like, that is not, that's not anything I've worked with before. We're going to cut some of it up as a filler metal, and then we're going to use it to weld the parent metal, mess around a little bit, see what happens, try not to blow anything up. I've got my fire extinguisher handy if something happens. I've got my setup. I've got a mask, and I've got... A welding helmet. So, yeah, we're gonna see what happens. So, the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna clean it up if we have any isopropanol left, which we do. So, clean all that off. Clean off the thing I'm getting used for filler metal. And we're gonna go at it. Um, so, that's that's the weld like that's pretty shiny it's okay there's definitely probably some contamination from the grinder it was a little bit fussy um at the start but afterwards it was okay um i'll probably grind this flat and see if there's any porosity in it so i ground it down there's 100 percent porosity in there which is all the little dots that were holding little pockets of air that would have caused stresses and cracks and stuff if it was put under a lot of issues well, crap, that didn't work. Um, my guess is, especially since it was in the middle, just because it took so long to heat up, maybe, I don't know. The, the attempt at a rod I'm using is also like incredibly thick compared to the weld. And so that might also be an issue. Some weird stuff. That's kind of cool to mess around with and, and see what I can come up with. and work with and understand them, I don't know. So, shall I have someone to teach it to me? Guess I'll figure it out. The weirdest part is it just wasn't fluid. It was like, it's it's like drippy, but it's not like fluid. That's the best description of like how this stuff behaves. Anyways, that was my excitement for the weekend. I'm gonna go uh, sit at home and sleep until Monday. So, it is now Monday after work, and I've got the stoplight. My boss hinted at some things. He said there's a reason that they bolt these together. Um, but I'm still gonna weld it. I'm gonna weld here and here, and maybe a little bit back there, and we'll be good to go. Then take the whole thing, flip it, stick the post in it, and hey, there we get. We'll, we'll be good. time crunch on this project. I'm just going to let it cool down and then do these little welds for me and then start building the rest of the stand. Alright, it's day two. I just finished laying out the first cuts for tubing. Um, the goal is to look something like this where these are sticking out 90 to each other and then to the pole that's going up. I laid out a couple different cuts. Um, I'm gonna chop it there first and then see how that looks like connecting together and if this red line is right or if I'm gonna have to redo everything. So 
honestly, that's not too bad. I'm happy with where that cut line is. So I'm gonna go ahead, cut that out before I weld it. And then I'll probably like tack in there, turn around, tack the bottom, and then we'll put on the other pole and see what needs cut on it because that's not going to be a normal look. Oh, the pipe came out okay, but the fit up's far from perfect. I don't like this gap here, so I'm going to grind that off a little bit. And I think grind that off a little bit and then see how it fits up again. I was contemplating doing a couple more cuts, but I think it's weldable now. This sealed up pretty well here. And then these two are touching here. And so, and that gap is a lot smaller now. It's about a thickness of the rod. So that's weldable. And I'm gonna weld that up if it focuses. No, nope. I'm gonna weld it whether it focuses or not. I like that view, but I can't get it. So like, that'll have to do. So that'll hold, and then I have another tack there, and so then it lays flat. I just gotta put a pipe in there. And make sure I don't hit the ceiling. Yep. This was gonna be a weird cut, and I wasn't wrong. I had to grind back this spot a little bit, and that spot a little bit, so I'll just mark those spots with a marker where they need to come off. And then I will grind those out and then come back in and see what happens next. That fits up nicely there as well as it can there and fits nicely there. But the problem is this spot here has a massive gap. And so I have to cut like all of this back again, refit it, see what happens. That's the problem with pipe welding or any sort of fit up is if you math stuff wrong or figure things out, just a bunch of guesswork until you get it right. So this may take four or five tries, but the best thing to do is just not get frustrated at it and keep working at it. Don't overcut. You can take stuff away, but you can't put stuff back. So after about 15 to 20 minutes of going back and forth and back and forth and checking and grinding and checking and grinding, which was about, probably did it like six or seven times, uh, I got this. So that is what I was saying about cutting too far back. I cut too far back there and the entire time I was just getting this closer and closer. But we're butted up here, which is what we wanted. And then everything else is pretty close. This cut here could have been in more, but that was with the red line and had nothing to do with this pipe. And so, honestly, I'm pretty happy with where it's at. Um, gonna try to weld it, try to keep it all straight, and I'm gonna back it up and show you what it looks like. Just a big pole. Um, and then the light, there's a tube on the back that's gonna attach up there, but it's, it's gonna be like on the ground here. And we'll be good. Finished the welds and it came out okay. It's not super incredible. It stayed pretty straight. And then I am able to put the lights on. So I've done some of the wiring work and um, honestly it kind of stressed me out because I've never messed with wiring before. And so I didn't video any of it because I was like, I just want to focus on this and get this figured out and it made sense and I don't know what to do, but I do know what to do, but I'm not convinced. Anyways, yeah, so stressful, so I just didn't video any of it. All right, this is wiring attempt one. 
You unplug that. Oh, that's weird. We have success. And somehow, I don't know how this old the ball this is, but it works. All right, test take two. We are hooked up um, to the red bulb up here, which is different. This one is a light bulb, but this one is, I believe, a series of LEDs. I tried unscrewing the back and the whole thing just came out, leaving this as an empty circle. So we're gonna plug it in, see if it works, see if anything explodes, you know. Have a great time. This cord is the worst to push in. Hey, it activates. What I am working on now is going to be a box from here to there. It'll stretch back and come around and it will hold these three toggle switches. First step is I'm going to take more time than necessary to grind off these random things and salvage this whole plate. I'm then going to mark all of my lines to cut out my box, weld my box together, and then screw it on to the, the light thing that's over there. I need a better pump. All right, the plates are finally cleaned up. Um, this first tee is gonna be set up. I'm gonna just tack it and then place it up to see where it needs to go. Yeah. I'm just gonna trace this plate, cut the piece out, and then I'll be good to go. It should fit, unless I mess something up. I'm working on the box here. It is coming along okay. This piece will go somewhere up here to cap off this space. And then I open this up because I'm currently working on a plate over here. I'm gonna sand this off, clean this one up. Um, so I can screw it in, screw it or bolt it or whatever over the top of the outside of this so that if the toggle switches ever go bad, which are going to be along this board here, you can replace it. All right, we've now got our spots for our toggle switches. That's these little X's and the dashes here. Um, now I got to go ahead, measure them to see what size you need to drill the holes, then drill the holes. That's coming along not All too right, bad. So I had an extended and detailed conversation with my dad about the, um, the wiring system and what it's going to look like. This is not for him, but he knows electrical stuff and he's messed with it before and went to college for it. Um, and so I have a clear idea of what I want to do, what I'm going to do and what it looks like, but I need to go to Home Depot and buy more stuff. So we're going to go do that. Just kidding. You're going to sit there and continue watching the video or not. I don't know, I'm not your mom. Now that we have copious amounts of wires and fasteners, it's time to head back to the shop and see if we can finish this thing today, which is starting to come into question, which I didn't want to come into question. The control box and what it looks like right now, I have a plate that goes on this side to close everything off too, so. We're getting there. I still have to make the plate for the bottom. Um, that's the last weldy thing I have to do. And then I think we're but good to go. We've got it all clamped up over there. Uh, I'm going to screw it in for the first like dry run, unscrew it, put a top and a bottom on it, screw it back in and then wire it. And Time is 8.34. We're finally done. 
all the light bulbs work. I mean, it probably would have been cooler if I turned them on. But yeah, so everything's like wired and connected and stuff. I gotta contact the dude, see what he thinks about it, if he wants anything painted or welded again or sealed or whatnot. Um, but I'm done. I'm leaving. I'm going to come back and clean up tomorrow, like after church. I think I bit off more than I could chew today. <laughs> All right, day two. We're back, and like I guess all we have to do is clean up this mess, and that mess, and this mess, and like the entire floor and that table. Right, we clean the floor up like we never left. It's clean. That's honestly it's cleaner than it was when I got here. And then there is the mess. All right, it is in the back of the car. And there's part of it here. And then there's the post back there. And now I just wait till 5.30 or 6, drop it off and that's that. I guess Jason built something. Yay. Probably the title of the video. Well, have fun. Or don't. I'm not your mom.